Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So we are again trying the acrylic pouring over tape experiment. This time I have three different kinds of tape. I have regular masking tape, which is this one, painter's tape, and this is the intense frog tape. I could barely get the package open, so I hope the tape is as sturdy as its packaging. Um, I have pushed these all down as well as humanly possible so that they have the max maximum stickiness. On the last video that I did on this, which if you didn't see that, I'll put a link in the description, people did also advise uh, painting or gessoing over the edges to get a cleaner line. I will try that as well, but for right now, I just want to try the tapes by themselves with nothing else. I'm using the Arteza Acrylic Pouring Colors. I have some leftover paint here in one of my split cups, which I'll put the link for that in the description as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a bit more paint to it. This is gonna be primarily warm colors. So just give me just a second, adding some yellow and white, and then I'm gonna be adding some pink as well. And this is an eight ounce cup. So I need a little more. All right, that should be, you know what? I'm gonna grab one other color real quick. I'm gonna actually go ahead and add some phthalo blue to this side. Okay. So this is just gonna be super colorful picture. <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna also add a little bit of coral. All right, here we go. I think once again, we'll do a tree ring. I'm not entirely sure on what colors were initially in the cup. Obviously there was black, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff out of the way, then we'll do our tilting. Okay. I think I'm gonna regret not knowing exactly what colors I put on here, but let's see. So how we'll do this with the tape is I'm going to leave the tape on until this is totally dry. And then we'll come back and I'll peel it off and that will be the second part of the video. Well, that is just intense. I like it. Awesome, so let's go ahead. Well, like I said, we'll leave it, let it dry and we'll be back. All right, we're back. It's not quite dry, but I thought it might be better to peel the tape off when it wasn't quite dry. I did wanna just show you guys something though. So over here on the left is just the white masking tape. You can see it's very bubbly. Um, in the middle was the painter's tape. It is less bubbly, but definitely still has bubbles. And then over on the right was the frog tape and it has basically no bubbles. It looks perfectly flat. So I think before I even peel these, I kind of already know who is the winner. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the masking tape. And I will get all these peeled off carefully. Because once again, the paint is a little bit wet still, so I don't want to accidentally touch it. All right. Lots of paint underneath. <laughs> All right, now the painter's tape. Oh, also lots of paint underneath. 
That was surprising. I thought it would be less. That's okay. <laughs> this is going to be like the trippiest abstract painting ever. And then here we go with the frog tape. Okay. Got a little of the paint pulled off there. All right, we have a clear winner. <laughs> These two actually look the same, surprisingly. Um, the frog tape, definitely the clear winner. However, I think that it should definitely, what I've been doing on uh, the mirror paintings that I've been taping off is I have been putting the tape down and then painting over the edges and then pouring. So I definitely think that is by far the best solution. I'll post a link to my last mirror video so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, but I did want to just test these guys all on their own. So I think still, even if you're doing that, probably the painter's tape or the frog tape are best. But the masking tape will probably work just fine if you do the taping. Let's go ahead and do a quick close-up because why not? So starting on the right hand side, this painting is actually so cool, even with those weird lines. Over here to the left, very galactic. And you can see, I think if you look on the side, the paint is raised there, which is interesting, really gives you the depth of the paint and how thick it is. So there you have it, my tape experiment. Now I am open to suggestions for these lines. I don't think I wanna leave them as is, but I'm thinking after they dry, maybe just painting them a solid black. I would could do a white, but I think black would look better with this specific painting. So if you all have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you all next time.